Hi, my name is Arnie Viorel. Thank you for joining us on A Company Cop YouTube channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit like. And please enjoy the next video we're about to show. Again, if there are any other retired cops out there or cops that want to be interviewed, please contact me at narcos at accompanycop.com. <laughs> What's up, Barney? What's up, buddy? You been all right? Yeah, man. You? Yeah, good. Just been traveling a lot, man, and, you know, finally get some time to get some more recordings done. You thought you had the coronavirus? <laughs> Got sick. You did? It was bad. I did, man, and just quarantined myself to the room and the wife and I for about a good four days. And uh, didn't come out, man. Just took care of ourselves, and now we're feeling better. You know, ready to rock and roll. You know. So you're getting a lot of views on the uh, on the trailer we made, right? Right, man. Getting a lot of comments, good comments. When Randy said, uh, yeah. "I killed Tupac." <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> you know, um, there's a lot of stuff surrounding that whole story, huh? Yeah, so we got to, I think, get into that a little deeper and um, take it uh, slowly and go through it. Um, because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting some good comments, like you said. You know, it, it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Did you want to talk about your yeah, being an undercover know, cop, right? Right, Narcos man. cop. In, in Narcos, uh, I think the story I'll start off today with um, my first day in narcotics, man you know, and how it went about. Um, Did you have choices? No, not when you're, you know, less than two years on, really. You yeah, know, I mean, you could have, you have gone to, was there gangs, right? Gangs? There's gangs, there's traffic cops, traffic. Um, detective? Motors. A detective, you got to be on for three plus years to even take the, um, take the uh, exam. Gotcha. You know? And hopefully, you know, by then you'll have a, uh, you know, intermediate post, um, and go from there. Yes, I went into narcotics, man. You know, <laughs> first uh, within a couple years. You know how you get in there is by just making dope arrests. You know, being active out in the field, turning over stones. You know, and um, just just making those arrests, man. Yeah. And um, I remember being on graveyard and um, riding with my buddy Juni. You know, at that time, you know, we were radio car partners on Graveyard. Radio car partners? Yeah. That's what so two we in a car? Two in a car. Radio right. car partners. And, um... Who's Junie? What does that stand for? What's his nickname? Well, it's short for uh, Reggie Wright Jr. And, um... And his dad was there? His dad was a sergeant at the time, Reggie Wright Sr. Uh, I, I, I want to say gangs at the time. I can't remember exactly where he was at. Maybe in on um, PM shift patrol at the time. Um, he's a he's a he's a bad dude. Well, yeah, they both. Um, uh, I, I guess it's all over the news. They were both uh, indicted and convicted, or they pled out to um, uh, federal the, crimes. What crimes were they? Crime. Um, they were indicted on federal charges. So that's uh, DEA, FBI, ATF crimes. Guns, yeah, drugs, the, the, grunt, the, the guns, you know, so uh, transportation across state lines, things like that. <coughs> it's all in, on the, it's all, you know, uh, publicly. We'll put a link know. down below in the description, you guys can read about <laughs> it. So, so your yeah. first day, you're... Uh, so yeah, so, you know, we would go into, um, uh, Junie and I would be driving around and um, uh, we would go into... Um, Ma Pai Ru, where Suge lived at. And Junior would get out of the car, go take care of his business with uh, Suge for a minute, and then come back out with Suge. And, you know, he'd ask, you know, hey, V, what's up, man? You know, when are you coming to work for me? You know, just I look at him, no, I ain't doing it. And, you know, Junior told him, hey, man, just leave him alone. He ain't, he, he ain't going to work with us. You know, we got to go. So, you know, I, I, I didn't get, you know, I, I just let it go. Mm hmm it was going to be good money, you know. I know some guys that were making some good money, you know. How much? That, you know, I want to say, man, at least fifteen hundred a week for working two days a week or a day, you know. Cash, um, huh? Probably, or they're on the <laughs> payroll. <laughs> so yeah, the man. illegal payroll. <laughs> 
So, you know, it's time, you know, I remember Junior and I went to go have some breakfast and he says, hey man, you're going to, you're going to go to Narcos real soon. So, you know, it's cool, huh? Is that, is that what you want to do? I say, yeah, man, hell yeah, I'm happy. That's good. Um, but right before Narcos, I got a chance to go to PM shift. So I went to PM shift, happy man, got, got off a of graveyard, you know, um, Got to be with some guys who were really, um, you know, out there, proactive, and um, making dope arrests. Stole, you know, 1051 G riot arrests. You know, gun arrest. You know, it was What's just. What's PM shift? Sorry. Swing shift from four to twelve thirty, and uh, so you're working with some guys that are hustling. You know, they're not lazy. What they call them? The uh, cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> you know, and I remember Yeehaw. Paul. I remember Paul's dad. You know, Paul Mason, oh. his, his dad was a sergeant there, you know, Ed, Ed Mason. He had asked me, hey, so you happy to be on swing shift? I said, hell yeah. And he says, he says yeah. And he goes, well, why, man? And I told him, I want to be a cowboy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was young, you know, dumb. And he just shook his head. And I remember, you know, he was grabbing his Maalox. So I got to drink some Maalox. He had it there on the desk. <laughs> so anyhow, I remember being down there about a month. A uh, month and a half in um, on, on PM shift, swing shift. And it was nice, having a good time, and I'm getting ready to get into briefing. The phone rings, and some guy picks up the phone, looks at me, and says, Yeah, he's here. I'll send him upstairs. You know, and he looks at me and says, Hey, V, you got to go see the captain. And oh, I was like, shit. Yeah, really, man. I was like, <laughs> I. I haven't hit nobody, you know. I mean, you start, you know, I, you know, I'm not in trouble for nothing. Oh, geez, you know, I was just here a month. And I have, yeah. no, negative. <laughs> so is she pregnant? Yeah. <laughs> no, man. So I hustle on upstairs, man, and see Captain Paradin because he was over the investigative services bureau. What's going on, man? I said, good. He says, sit down. I said, what's going on? He says, hey, um. I've been seeing, you know, you're making some good dope arrests, man. I say, yeah, you know, it's out there trying to rock and roll. So that's good. He says, well, you're going to narcotics in a couple of weeks, next next TP. I said, oh, goes, you like that? Yeah, hell yeah, man. You know, I want to go to Narcos. <laughs> you know, who doesn't want to work Compton, city of Compton, Narcos? You like that? Yeah, man. I mean, that's a, that you like. Yeah, and. Um, he, or getting in the gang unit, you know, uh, getting into a specialized assignment. It's it's a pat on the back, you know. You're doing a good job. What was it Perry? His name was Perry. Percy. Percy. Percy Paradin. So you know. Percy, then Wright. No, Wright then Percy. Oh, okay. Yeah, Percy was his boss that he answered to. And who did um, Percy report to? The chief. The chief. Yeah. And. Uh, so yeah, man, the next, you know, I come down, I'm, I'm happy, man, and one of the guys kind of jealous, oh, man, you went to see the captain, huh? Yeah, man. Oh, what, what, you know, I didn't, I just, you know, you get those haters, you know, they, they, they want to, you know, pull you back down. They're like crabs in a bucket, man, you know, trying to get out and, you know, one tries to make it out, it, the crab pulls you back in, <laughs> you know, to stay down in the hell hole, you know, yeah, so, um, <laughs> Hey man, so I I got my first day in Nar Narcos. I hustle on down there. We started at noon at the time, so I get there about eleven thirty, and um, you know, I want to meet my sergeant, and uh, his name was Willie. So um, I walk in, and this must have been about May June, you know, getting kind of warm out there. So we were, we're down in the Angeles, old dispatchers. California. Yeah, mm. Compton, California. It's hot, you know. Oh, yeah. and, um, so I walk in, and he's sitting at his desk, you know, and he has his shirt wide open, his big old belly sticking out, you know, and he's cracking walnuts on his desk, and he's sweating. He goes, hey, sit down, V. I got to talk to you, man. You know, he was kind of, you know, but he, he he was a good guy at times, you know. But, um. So I sit down and he says, um, you know, uh, uh, welcome to Narcos. You know, the last unit that was in here, they were all booted out because of the, I guess, you know, you know what was happening. And I didn't know. 
I, I really didn't keep up with what was happening down there, you know, but they had a sergeant in charge, you know, they called him Black Jesus because he already thought he was the hot shit. Black Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. So he had Percy's spot.